got Teddy Ash back here on the program. He's going to be fighting for the vacant unified middleweight title against Seth Majinski coming up here at Unified 34 on September 28th. Teddy, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm great, man. Just training hard and I'm getting excited, man. It's getting close. Yeah, it's gonna. It's a great fight, and of course, this was announced, uh, you know, a while back. And uh, I've actually uh, got the the chance to meet you in person. Uh, we we saw each other at XFFC, and then I actually ran into you again uh, randomly at the UFC card in Calgary, which is uh, pretty crazy. And I wanted to ask you about that. You know, what was that like getting to go to that UFC card and uh, watch all the competitors? It was a pretty solid event. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Uh, watching fights live when you're not fighting is, you know. It always gets the hair on your back when you wish you were in there. It's cool to see that the biggest stage in the world, you know, firsthand and, you know, get a little bit of uh, imagination going there, wishing you were in there and potentially someday be there fighting in front of that crowd, right? Well, I was going to ask you that because you're a guy who's always been sort of on the on the fringe of, of getting a UFC contract. You've got a great record. Are you, you know, when you're sitting there watching that, are you kind of like, man, I wish I was in there. Like, I can fight at this level. Yeah, totally, man, and I, I'm I'm really starting to feel that way that I, I am at that level, and I'm I'm just going up a level every single fight. So it's only a matter of time, man. I keep winning fights and keep getting better. That I will be there. I'm just gonna be patient and keep uh, keep on winning, man. Yeah, and uh, you've bounced around between 205 and 185 in your career. Uh, you're back at 85 for this. Is there like an ideal weight class for you? Or is it more just a matter of the opponent? Um, I'm pretty good with both. Uh, I'm more available at both weight classes. Obviously, that's you know twice as many guys I could fight. Really, um, yeah, I like both. 85 is a fairly easy cut. 205 is isn't even really a cut. Yeah. Uh, so I, you know, I'm I'm a bit big at 85. I'm a bit small at 205. I'm that in between kind of size and weight where I can do both. So I'm just gonna take advantage of both. Yeah, I'd say so. And uh, like I mentioned, you knew about this fight a while ago. So how's the cut been going, uh, getting down? Because you've had lots of notice. So I imagine uh, you're kind of doing it properly. You're not doing like one of those crazy cuts uh, leading up to the fight. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. I had tons of time. And uh, even my last fight, I weighed in at 198 because uh, my opponent had asked for a 200-pound catch weight. But she was like just slightly over anyways. But um, yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm coming in at 198 at a 205 fight. Uh, it only makes sense for me to drop, and you know I, I like the the feeling of cutting weight and and just going through that that intensity and and gets you in the mindset and all that. So 80, 85 is too easy. There's no reason for me not to to fight there too, right? Yeah, I agree. And so they tell you you're fighting Seth Pajinski. Uh, you know, what's your reaction? Because uh, obviously he's an out of towner. He's you know fought in the UFC. He must have been pretty excited to, to get you know to finally uh, fight a UFC veteran. Yeah, totally, man. I've uh... I've had a lot of names coming my way. We were trying to find a guy that would be, you know, a, a, a good step up for me. And, yeah, he's definitely the most skilled guy, most uh, veteran opponent that I had offered to me. And that's the one that I took, man. And that's what I'm, I'm up for the challenge. And how do you feel like you match up against him? Uh, he's just moved up to middleweight. He's fought primarily at 170 in his career. So how do you feel like your, your style, uh, you know, sort of matches up against his? Uh, I, I like my style against his. You know, he's... Uh, He's he's really well rounded. He's got some some big wins over some big guys. Um, I'm I'm very well rounded now. I've been working on a lot. I just got 25 minutes of experience added to the belt there after my last fight with uh, Ortiz. Uh, a lot to work on since that fight, and uh, I've got the footage to you know kind of analyze myself and and the areas that I need to be stronger in and the areas that I'm stronger that I could still progress in. So. Um, I'm going to be ready for any position in this fight, and I'm going to just take it where I want it to be. And how much do you think the size is going to be a factor in this fight? Because like I said, he's moving up. You fought at 205, so it's, you guys are coming from opposite directions here to, to have this fight. Yeah, it's great. You know, he, he looks like a big guy for 170. He's, he's going to have height on me. Um, so, like, size-wise, yeah, may, maybe bone density might have something to do with it, but I think size-wise we're going to be pretty similar in, in size. Um, I'm a bit of a heavier guy for for how I look, really, and uh, I don't know if uh, if, if size is going to be be an issue. He's got the height; I might have a little bit more thickness on him. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, exciting either way. Have you kept training camp primarily the same? Have you done any cross training at all, or has it just been uh, training with your usual guys, like you know the bulldozer, Tanner Bozer, and guys like that? Yeah, well. Uh, uh, it's pretty diverse the amount of guys we have come in. Uh, we have guys from a few different gyms that come to our Shade Bear MMA practice, which is cool. 
we got KB Bueller back training with us all the time. That guy is a killer. He's a great training partner, smart, and uh, oh, he's a great partner for me for this fight too. He's a bit taller than me, body body size and shape, and uh, yeah, bulldozer. And I just have the best coaches you could ask for. Jeff Montemoro and Cadre Noda are like, you know. The, in my mind, the best hands-down trainers in the world. I'm learning so much off them, and uh, they're they're the ones that are getting me through these fights and making me better each time. So I, you know, I owe it to them and my training partners, of course. So I, there's no need to change, man. I'm, I'm get I'm got to do what's working, right? So yeah, exactly. Yeah, no need to switch anything up. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? I'll have Jeff Montemoro, Kedro Noda, my buddy Scott Campbell. He's uh. I played high school football with him. He's a brown belt from Fort McMurray, my, my home gym there at Bowman's. And he always comes and corners me. And uh, since it's a title fight, I'll have four. Um, so pro- probably Tanner. That's usually who I have in there. Yeah, we'll have to look out for the wolf shirt if he's wearing it in the cage there. Uh, <laughs> you know, that, that's usually the indication of how you can find him. Um, how do you see this fight playing out on the 28th? You know, Seth's been knocked out before. You've got a lot of impressive knockouts in your resume. Is that sort of how you're seeing this one play out? Yeah, for sure. I, I could definitely see uh, see a finish coming. I'm also, you know, I've I've been 25 minutes a couple times now. Um, I'm gonna be ready to put a pace on for 25 minutes straight. Uh, I'm I'm a lot more skilled, a lot sharper. I'm, I'm definitely a lot more wise in there. My fight IQ is is going up. Um, I'm gonna be ready to to put it on him for 25 minutes straight if I have to. If the knockout comes in first, second, third, fourth, even fifth round, so be it. But uh, that's where the patience is going to come into play, and uh, I'm just going to just do my thing, man. I'm ready for to give him 25 minutes of hell. If he uh, if he wants out early, then take the easy route. Are you seeing this fight as an audition for the UFC? I mean, we've seen the catalyst in the past. It's you beat a UFC veteran, usually you get that call up, especially if it's for a title. Is that what you're kind of thinking, or, or is it just, you know, take this one fight at a time and the opportunities will come? Yeah, that's kind of there. The questions there, obviously, you're asking. Other people are asking. Everyone sees it as the audition for the UFC. And, uh, you know, somewhat it is, but my whole career is my audition, right? Each fight, I'm getting closer and closer and closer. Uh, he is a UFC veteran 11 times. He's got fight of the night performances. It would make sense, you know, if I, you know, have a, a good – my good performance on uh, the 28th, you know, and, and they and they see what I'm all about, Uh you know, it would make sense, but I'm not going to, you know, hold my breath on it and wait. I'm just going to keep on fighting, keep winning, win, 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 man. And that's that's going to get you there inevitably, right? Yep, I agree with that. Um, what's on the docket these days for downtime? Are you watching any Netflix, anything like that? What's getting you through training camp these days? Uh, just me and my dogs, man. Uh, yeah. Training camp, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy training. I train two to three times a day. I'm not working at the moment, so it's whenever uh, – something comes up and in between that man i'm spending my time just hanging at the water with the dogs and i just got a, a new puppy she's 15 uh, weeks old right now so that's occupying a bit of my time and my and keeping me you know like a little bit distracted sometimes get me away from the the fight stuff which you know i'm consumed by 24 hours a day night night and day right it's nice to have a little getaway that's awesome. Well, this is going to be an awesome card. It's coming up here September 28th. It's Unified 34. Teddy, it's uh, always good catching up with you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Cool, man. Yeah, social media. I'm Teddy underscore Bear underscore Ash. That's on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, you can hit me up on all of those. Uh, huge, huge thank you to all my sponsors, man. I got uh, Park Integrative Health right now. Those guys have been uh, treating me acupuncture, massage therapy, and keeping my body in check. Uh, my Paul Paul Pedal Services, PPS up in Fort Mac, they're a huge sponsor of mine. Birch Mountain Enterprises, um, BBN, my buddy Brian O'Keefe, uh, Clearwater River Outfitting. Um, yeah, pretty much the whole town of Fort McMurray, all my fans and supporters, my family and friends and everyone that's backing me up, man, I got a lot of support and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to, to make everyone proud.